Okay, so we're here to have a look at ONTAP's visual merchandiser extension for Magento. And this extension enables a uh, front end category, like the one we're seeing at the moment, to be merchandised with a drag and drop interface. Uh, normally, if you're showing uh, products by position on the front end, these are quite difficult uh, positions to manipulate. If we take a look at the admin panel for this particular category, we can see uh, once we've selected the category, if we click on category products, we can see the positions of those products, which is a numerical uh, value uh, in ascending order, showing the position. And these products relate to the position of the product to the front end. So if, for example, I wanted to move this product into the position one, I'd have to uh, manually change these numbers so that they were sequential with the product that I wanted, which was perhaps number nine at the moment, to become number one and so on. And if you've got a category that's got lots of products in, that task is uh, a major pain, uh, a big problem and takes lots of time. So um, you know, what we decided to do was to create an extension um, which is available from this button here, the Edit in Merchandiser button, which if we click on that button, we get the, uh, the Merchandiser window open. Once the Merchandiser window is open, <coughs> we see a representation of the front end category within the admin panel. So if we compare the front end that we're seeing here that a customer would see with the merchandiser window, you see it looks pretty much the same. So what we have now is an interface here where I can literally drag and drop products around in order for me to change their positions. Um, and clicking on save positions will make those changes back into uh, Magento's back end. Now that the category has actually saved its positions, um, what we can do is uh, we can reload um, this at the front end. See it in the admin palette showing this at the moment. If we reload that from the front end, what we see is that the uh, products have changed position just by dragging and dropping. So this has um, removed the need for us to manipulate these numbers um, which is almost impossible in many situations uh, to do practically. And um, by doing this, we can visually merchandise an entire category, which might consist of 10, 50, 100, hundreds of products very quickly and easily. So um, what we're going to do now is have a, a short uh, look through the user interface of the merchant uh, merchandiser tool so you can understand the, the power that it has and the time it will save you. So if we look at the grid that we see here, each product is represented uh, that we see at the front end. We can see the product name. We can also see attributes which may not necessarily be showing um, at the front end, but we can get to show in order to help us merchandise. And some of these attributes may be attributes that um, are not showing on the category pages that, that might show on product pages but some might be attributes which are just in Magento which we want to show here because they're useful. So things like the brand and the shape in this case of this product and the fit are uh, attributes that we can define to show. And there's an admin panel uh, page where we can tell this extension which attributes we want to show. We can also see the stock that's available. Um, and the stock numbers uh, come straight from Magento's database. Um, we can see the pricing as well. Um, we can also see the, um, the product images. And if we mouse over these thumbnails, we can see the images. So we can decide that perhaps the product hasn't got the best photography at the moment, so we don't want to merchandise that yet. And we need to go and get some better photography. And this is a far easier way of determining the best products to merchandise by having all this information in one place. So as I showed you a moment ago, we can drag and drop these products around. 
Um, we can also multiply select products and drag any number in one go and they'll move. Um, we can also scroll through the uh, category as well. And for categories that have got lots of products in, um, and you may have categories that have got hundreds of products in, we use um, an Ajax page loader so that uh, we only load uh, products into the category as we scroll down. So that makes the page loading quicker, um, especially on big categories. Um, and we've got the ability to um, uh, promote products, to move them to the top of the list, and also to detach a product from a category as well if we don't want it to be in a, a particular category anymore. So if I was going to merchandise some colours, I may be doing it based on colours. So I might want to just move these ones to the top. And if I scroll back to the top, they will now be at the top. <coughs> and now I can begin to uh, merchandise, perhaps even on um, a, a colour basis as well. Now this is almost impossible to do from the admin panel using this interface because you don't get a sense of the products that are available to merchandise. Um, and by seeing the effectively the front end from within the admin panel, you really get the ability to merchandise very quickly and easily. Now all of the changes I'm making with these drag and drop um, uh, processes that I'm going for at the moment are not actually changing the category. Um, what they're doing is they're storing these changes um, in memory and the act of uh, dragging these around is not actually placing any load on Magento at all. Um, what we're doing here is we're merchandising the category until we're happy with it and then when we click on save positions then this is actually um, taking all of the changes we've made and saving them to the category. So with the category saved now in the admin panel, if I just refresh the front end, we should see the products in the order that we can see them in the admin panel. Now this to me looks a much better merchandised um, category um, because it, it, some thought has gone into this. Now some of the other tools that the merchandise uh, ex extension gives you under the actions menu. So for example we've got uh, currently three options here. Uh, mass product assignment, move in stock to top and view at front end. View at front end just uh, shows us what this uh, category looks like at the front end by loading the front end category page up which we already have. The move in stock to top is useful in situations where you're merchandising and you really don't want the out of stock products to be at the top of your category. In the scenario that we're looking at here, we've got quite a few which are out of stock. So we can use move in stock to top to take all of the in stock products, move those to the top, maintaining their positions um, whilst moving the out of stock ones down the category. So we can begin to merchandise in a smarter way. The mass product assignment tool is quite useful as well because this gives us the ability to um, assign large numbers of products en masse to the current category. So as it says here, if we enter SKUs below on one per line, and of course we can copy and paste uh, a list of SKUs from a text editor or a spreadsheet or some other uh, data source, then uh, the extension will go through those SKUs and add them all very quickly into this category, um, far quicker than you could do any other way using the admin panel. And you can also use it to uh, remove products as well by having a list of SKUs as well. So this is useful if you're building sale categories in your store. So you may have a list of SKUs uh, of products that are uh, on sale elsewhere around the site, but you also want them to go into a sale category. So um, the quickest way of merchandising those is to get that list of SKUs, paste it into this box and click on Assign Products. And that will very quickly add those products into the category. And likewise, if you wanted to remove products from that category, um, then you enter the list of SKUs and click on Remove Products. Uh, and it all saves you uh, a lot of time compared to using the admin panel for the same sort of task. 
one of the other tools that we have is a search facility. So um, often we need to go away and find other products that we want to add to this category. So we have a search box um, in the, uh, the top right of the window here. So if I were to type in uh, a search term, the search results uh, are shown uh, on the right hand side and uh, products that are already in this category somewhere um, are we're told they're already in the category but ones that aren't um, we may wish to move these uh, products across so just by clicking on add to category and add to category is mo are moving these two products um, directly into this category um, and we can continue to merchandise based on other search terms So with this list of products, um, having searched for vintage, um, we have an independently scrolling list of matches here. So we can very easily pull these ones in as well. Um, and I can continue to make the kind of changes that I might want to make based on color, uh, style and so on, and stock availability of course as well. Uh, and all the time these changes are happening uh, within this interface and it's only when I click on save positions that I'm actually having to save those into the database. Um, so you can merchandise hundreds of products in one session without affecting the front end and then affecting the front end with a single click. So the Merchandiser tool uh, really gives you um, a huge scope for properly merchandising your store. And a properly merchandised store definitely improves your conversion rate because customers are more en engaged in product ranges, especially if you're merchandising on the basis of stock availability, style and so on, and putting related products visually together in the same way that somebody in a retail store would do the same. The extension itself is very easy to install. Um, it's a single extension, you drop it into your Magento system and in the admin panel it adds this button here um, and then the rest of the interface um, is as you see here. Um, there is an admin panel um, configuration page which enables you to set um, which attributes uh, to, to show in, in this um, window here and, and certain other basic um, requirements but the installation is pretty much um, drop it in and it starts to work. Um, the extension is compatible with all um, editions of Magento so community edition, professional edition and the enterprise edition. The functionality is the same regardless of the edition that you use um, and in terms of Magento Community Edition it's compatible with version 1.62 and above um, and for the Enterprise Edition and Professional Editions basically from version 1.10 and above. So the extension is the Virtual Merchandiser and it's from ONTAP. The website that you can purchase this from is www.ontapgroup.com.